All right, people, we are back. More lead. Woo. So this is match two for the third place off. Fighting for that third place, fighting for that bronze. <laughs> yep. So uh, pretty smart plan. They, you know, they both need their tier twos, and of course, Omega won it. So Omega's going to try to wrap it up and uh, use their tier one deck of Tellers versus uh, Lunar's tier one deck of Clown Blade. Uh, oh, so. maybe a triple. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, they drew three times on rock, paper, scissors. It was like, oh, baby, a triple. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, to tell you the truth, I gotta give it to Clown Blade. Clown Blade just seems like it completely outplaces Tellers. Uh, you know. But Luna doesn't have Shotmaster. <sighs> I mean, to to state that uh, Tellers are a tier one deck is kind of an understatement in comparison to what Clown Blade can do but combat kind of evolved you know that deck is like ever changing ever evolving just because it's such it's such a player yeah. made kind of deck you know like when when we when we had clown blade it was you know it was the whole with the level chain and the clown and the blade now it's like sort of turned into clown blade before more power things hasn't mm -hmm. it you know definitely i would like for at least something in that deck related to get addressed that would be nice yeah, it would that would be nice because right now it's it's just too much of an engine it literally it is. is, you know, and when it comes to engines, we gotta, because <clears throat> engines are just too free. <laughs> yeah, yep, and they don't make Konami any money, so. Yep, you know, what, they're, bad, they're bad for the game, and they're bad for Konami, so it's like, like, yeah. Ooh, yeah. that chicory fucking 11 cents and shit like that, like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, making commons. so much money. Commons and rares. Like, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just like with, uh, when it comes to uh, Artifact Engine, you know, it's in it. Engine, we gotta deal with it, so. Norden doesn't help, like. That shit needs to be fixed. Shit, shit needs to be adjusted and fixed. Yeah, it does. And it looks like, uh. It's all Myers Infinity. Hey. Wait, what? It's all Myers Infinity. Yeah, I know that's what you're doing, but w wait, what happened? Like, you did that really weird. <laughs> you know, sitting here messing up. Luna, Luna was trying to save time, and <laughs> then he didn't. I, I was like, "You had one fucking job, Luna." <laughs> Just fucking it up. <laughs> you know, then we got powerful Nova and powerful Infinity. And of course, that play, of course, cannot be done. I said, "Of course, of course, of course, of course." Fucking Daniel. <sighs> that play cannot be done in LCG anymore. Patrol Miles is banned. And I just love how they ban Patrol Miles, and then they just give you way like, here, Here's yeah. a card that just makes it again. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, the, oh, and uh, here's our new uh, archetype. It's like a pendulum machine level 5. It's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I think OCG Konami know that as long as they make like these decks that can go into like rank, you know, into infinities and shit like that, that they're always you know, something. They're gonna, they might as well keep Infinity because it's going to promote those decks inherently, you know what I mean? People are going to be like, oh, well, this deck can make Infinity. Infinity's so fucking good, I'll go make this deck, you know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, so I, I, I think that's what OCG Konami have realised, and that's why they didn't hit Infinity. They hit the Ptolemyers, be like, yeah, we could, we hit it, see, people who's yeah, playing the like, game? <laughs> and then they're just like, right, our next I mean, if archetype... We banned, if we <laughs> Infinity, I mean, what would you possibly do? Just, you know... Uh, Make a pleadies? Ooh, scary. But I know. It's like, wow, throwing ooh. the bottom list at the Unuk. But it still gets the I, effect. I know, it still gets the effect. I found it interesting. I know, when Luna did that, I was like, why? Yeah, I would have. I'd saved it. I would have I mean, saved, oh, saved it for the... Because when we were in the call, I think Luna said to me that he didn't want Omega to crash into his level chain. He wanted to use it to send more next turn. And, and then Omega sends Anuk Sirius. Sends, and then Anuk sends Sirius. Are so. you serious right now? Yes, you are serious. Why so serious? Anyway, speaking of decks that, you know, are going to get the D, <laughs> Telenites, obviously, definitely, indefinitely. <laughs> yeah. deck is going to get it, you know. And everybody has their opinions on it. And, you know, I, I have an opinion on it that's actually different, probably, and probably different than everybody who's I trying think, to predict. I, I'm getting Telenite. so fed up with people saying hit alpha. No, no, no. Alpha, alpha hit, alpha, hit alpha, hit alpha, hit alpha. Like, no, why? No, because no. if you hit alpha, then Telenites will still be a really good deck. Like, I was talking to someone about it, and they are like, oh my god, you know, Telenites are so good because of alpha because they stun. I'm like, Telenites don't stun any harder than any other deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know? that's, that's just like an insurance card for yeah, it, pretty it's, much. It's, it's, it's going to be it's like, oh well, card. I'm going to make sure. I play my card, I tribute my card, and 
I stop you your card. Out. I draw a card. I even out. It's you know, and it's not even searchable. You know, it's not a busted nope. card. You know. If it was searchable, like barrier or uh... yeah, if it was searchable, you know, if it did an episode when this card is summoned, search for a uh, Tell Knight card, then oh yeah, I'm fucking definitely. But no, no or fucking Tempest for uh, Magic Scepters. Yeah, I think yeah. Tempest is it? Yeah, yeah, but it's not. It's not. You draw it at regular speed. Uh -huh. You even out. And if you get it, you get. It. If you don't, you don't. But that's not what makes Teller Knights good, and I don't know where everybody gets this mentality. Like I swear to God, someone literally said, like, "Oh yeah, Teller Knights are are good." Because uh, they're stun, because they stun you with no them. Like no, like wh what trap cards do they really play? The normal traps, which almost everybody plays, the the Novas, which is their own card, and Fiendish Chain. So besides their own card, they have Fiendish Chain and Bottomless. How does that stun any Technically, technically Fiendish Chain and technically Fiendish Chain could be counted as the normal cards as well, because everyone pretty much but everyone's I, Fiendish Chain or Break That's what I'm saying. So besides Nova, they're just running normal cards. So how did how is that a stun deck? You know. How is that a stun deck? No. The reason why, and I even had to explain it to them, like, the reason why Tell Knights are good is resource management. They out-resource you. They out yeah, I mean, you. well, every time they yeah. do the Altair, the Nad play, that's a fucking plus yeah, one, that, isn't it? Yeah, that Altair, bam. You know, that, that, you know, call the Hunted, Altair. All right? The yeah. Altair, the Nad. Oh my god, Deneb search, oh my god. Summon, make a Triv, Triv, put it all of them back so you literally just recycle that Call of Hunt, Reset Sasha Races, that Fiendish call, Chain. Yeah. That is what makes Teller Knights good. Not the Nova. Like, no, 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 no. The high consistency Nova, like I said, and Nova's the just insurance. Man. Nova's just insurance. So if they were like, "Oh, well, I'm going," you know, if you already have a tell night, they're like, "Well, uh, chain called the haunted." They're like, you know, say chain wiretap, and you're like, "Okay, chain alpha." Uh, it's just reinsurance. So yeah, you, know, you can't. I'm, I wouldn't be pointing fingers at that. You know, pointing fingers at that is like pointing fingers at fucking uh, gravekeepers counter trap or fucking uh, uh, oh, speak of the devil <laughs> or. Um, when Glads were popular, hitting uh, their War Chariot. War Chariot, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, what? Um, <laughs> the p thing people need to realize is that just because the deck has its own counter trap card doesn't mean it's Infernities. Mm -hmm. Infernities were the biggest culprit of their counter trap being OP. And, you know, as much as I love Infernities, even I've got to admit, they did really have. Infernities are probably. If you want, even if you want to say Infernities are an awful deck and you hate them, which I know you do, Daniel, you everyone everyone has to admit one simple fact: Infernities are the definition of a counter trap being bad. You know, being at its most broken. You know, they are the deck that boss that gave everyone that negative impression of counter traps, pretty much. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing in your eyes, that's still what they did. They negatively skewed everyone, because now you get people all the time. Oh, well, Alpha's a counter trap, it's like barrier. Oh, this is a counter trap, it's like barrier. But yeah. people don't realize that counter traps are only like barrier when they're easily searchable. Yep. You know? If they're easily... Even your Senjus who have their counter trap, their counter trap isn't easily searchable, therefore it's not like barrier. You know, oh, yeah, it's searchable, definitely. but it's not easily searchable. Yep. And Noden. Yep, and Noden. And that's definitely a problem, you know, that Noden just when it summons. <laughs> so you're going to be seeing Again. crazy fucking... So like I said, you could hit it to Noden fucking like, one, yeah. and it wouldn't make a difference, really. it just mean you wouldn't do it as often, but you'd still have to fucking call the audits and shit like that, so... Mm -hmm. And I, I, I mean, I don't, rag, I don't mean to rag on someone, but someone literally commented when I did my fucking video. I was like, you know, give me uh, what I, what you want on the list and stuff like that to give me more general ideas. Someone actually actually had the nerve, the balls, the goal to say fucking card safe return. Right. <laughs> And card of safe return isn't that that fucking continuous spell that every time something is special oh, summoned you draw? Everything every time something special summoned from a graveyard draw a card. So activate call the hunter summon them draw a card, drone summon the monster draw a card. <laughs> yes. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Clown blade effect summon draw a card. Yeah, I'll tell you I'll tell you when you can do that. It's when you ban every other fucking card that brings shit back from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. That's when you can do that. <laughs> So it's some Dante draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> Activate oh, well. Necro Cycle draw a card. Yes. Hey, uh, I edited that. I the only deck that wouldn't even benefit from that is Cleese. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we clearly saw that even uh, when Omega was trying to bring it back, Winner still was able to pull it off, out resource, and outplay.
But just think if he had fucking Carter safe return, that would have been even worse. <laughs> that would. That oh, yeah. Been, oh, yeah. Noden. Um, revive this. Draw a card. Call the haunted end phase. No, uh, Noden. Draw a card. Noden fat. Draw a card. Like. You know how happy I would be if Konami gave fucking Noden uh, the fucking Sixth Sense treatment? Where it's like, here we go, here it is, make money, alright. No, we clearly know it's broken, and we ban it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would love for Noden to go from three to fucking banned. I would love that. Just like what OCG did. Probably won't. Probably go from three to one, and then fucking Konami will be... It better be Instafusion instead. And then Konami will be gonna put shooting. something at one, it should be Instafusion, not Noden. Yeah. I know, but they won't. I, I'm sorry, I just have that little faith in Konami that I'll be like, yeah, they're probably not going to. What I can see Konami doing in TCG is they're probably going to go, okay, no, then uh, hit it to one and then leave it like that. And then next to us, they'll be like instant fusion to one. And then Noden will still be a fucking problem because people will occasionally get the fucking instant fusion. They'll have called the haunters and shit for Noden. And then they'll be like Noden banned and leave instant fusion at one. And then it will slowly put instant fusion back up. It's like it's so unnecessary. Just fucking hit the no ban the Noden. <laughs> they are fine. Ban the Noden or ban the instant fusion. Ban one of them, but one of them has to go. That's what I'm saying. I mean, when it comes to OCG, they may be really liberal, but when they get, they when they get to what they want to get to, they get to it quick. <laughs> Next thing uh -huh. you got fucking Chandals in like fucking hella quick. We're still sitting here fucking around with fucking <laughs> with freaking uh triple Chandals, construct. Yeah, triple construct and they're you know uh, that's that's crazy. Well well sometimes over here, they over are. Here, sometimes we... they are, sometimes they aren't. Like over here, for example, Dragon Rulers, there wasn't no fucking third or fourth format like there was in O C G. Mm-hmm. Maybe know. they really like Dragon Rulers over there. Maybe. <laughs> Well, maybe, yeah, but, like I said, they do stupid shit, though. Like, oh, yeah, Dark Arbs to two. Oh, shit, Dark Arbs to one. Like, Wait, now you're throwing the maxi? A bit like, no, I think it, I think Omega, no, we were in the call. Omega meant to throw it when uh, the Ptolemaios effect. Hmm. You know, chain maxi, so when Ptolemaios... As soon as I saw three level, level fucking fours, I went through the maxi. I, I, yeah. You knew Lightning had to go and do something. All right, so uh, does Lunar win? <laughs> um, it looks like it. I was like that joke off of fucking Vitamin Y. Did you see you fucking uh, Super Vicey Bell Vitamin Y? Mm, I did, but I don't fucking remember. Where I maxi the guy, and he swatches someone like three times. I draw like three oh, yeah, cards, and then, so and then he doesn't kill me, and then asks if he fucking wins. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, you win. Yeah, you win. <laughs> like, I just drew four cards. Like, no, you're going to have to get something. <laughs> So damn. Wow. The only, kind of I think the only time people should take the maxi challenge is when they know they're probably going to OTK or kill them off at turn, or when they can get their opponent out. If you know you can probably get your opponent out from maxi, you know, or you know you can finish them off life points wise, then yeah, obviously take the maxi challenge. Don't let that stop you, but. Yeah, besides that, I, wouldn't, I don't even think that I could pr set up a proper field to wall you. In comparison to the amount of cards that you draw for my setup, and so I, I wouldn't even risk it. No, I mean there have been tons of times when I've been like do something, and then I like, am about to special someone, and someone goes maxi. I'm like, that's it. I don't care if all these monsters fucking die. I'm not letting you draw a card. Nope, 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 no, nope, nope, nope. I'm stopped. Yes. You know, all times when just people throw the maxi at you early, and you're like, well, I'm just not going to special someone. I can, but I'm just not going to now. So you can nag. Thank you. <laughs> But the struggle is real. It's, it's like Luna's uh -huh. like always in control of this duel. We're clearly seeing the power of infinity, but we always knew infinity was stupid. Oh, T-King. That would have been nice earlier. T-King. Oh, no. Oh, uh, never mind. Fuck mm. you. <sighs> Damn. No people just still think that T-King should go up to, like, more than what it is. Like, fucking fuck you, T-King. Fucking mistake is a problem, let alone T-King. What do you mean? It should be at three. It should be at three. It's bad. It's terrible card. Shit. Suck Not even good. Three. <laughs> well, it, it probably would do that too, but it hasn't got a mouth, and again, it beats people, beats the shit out of people when it hasn't got arms. So does Thunder King not have a mouth? I don't think it does. <laughs> oh, we are you really looking up if T King has a mouth? <laughs> uh, I, I, you know what? I really can't see Thunder King's face. So so small. I think I see an eye, but I'm not sure if if he has a mouth or it or whatever. No, it doesn't. 
It has a nose, it has eyes, like an owl face, <laughs> built into armor. <gasps> That's why, yes, it's an owl built into armor. That's why it doesn't have arms. It has arms, because it looks like... Oh, no, no, we are. Can I have some? Some what? <laughs> of the drugs that I know you're on. <laughs> See? Is that it? And that's why it's got the big pointy things, because they're wings underneath the arms. Oh, so kawaii, that's cute. So, Rota, search for salt. Okay. I think we might be taking this to match three people to fight for third place. <laughs> yeah. What? No, Omega's totally going to come back and win with two minutes left on the clock. Yep, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, that's it, fuck you. Yeah, can, can you at least pretend that but, this isn't post commentary, us. fucking dick? <laughs> nope. Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> hey, but it doesn't matter because, as I said in my fucking vine, I am so fired. <laughs> you are fired. <laughs> Alright, after this week is done, you're fired. Oh. <laughs> so you're not coming back for next week. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Damn, the snuggle's real. <laughs> just, just, I know. Look at that. Mega sitting there, just like, I can't. <laughs> it's like, don't worry about it. Damn. <laughs> Max C, have to set a Max. Wow. Oh, wow. Ouch, oh, that's painful. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Damn. <laughs> just. <laughs> Okay, that, that's probably it. <laughs> Damn, no! It's still another Send another, send another Maxi! <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I, the reason why I don't want to play multiple Maxis more than two is because I'm af afraid of maxing into a Maxi. Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't like to play Maxi at two. If I was going to play it, I'd play it at three. So I'd put it in the same boat as Vela, personally, because I, if I'm going to play that in those kinds of cards, then I want them when I want them. I don't want to be like, oh... I don't. I didn't have my maxi, but now I've got my maxi. Or I didn't have my Vela, but now I've got my Vela. Like I know it's shit to draw into them, or it's shit to like draw multiples of them, but hmm. damn, damn. So that was a quick one. So like usual for match three, I'll be up in an hour after this video goes up, and be sure to come back and see who wins third place. Like you really care. What do you mean, <laughs> bronze medal, man? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. where whoever loses gets tinfoil. So, like usual, thank you guys for watching and off support. Thank you, Santu, for joining me. No problem. We will be Sorry, back I'm going to be fired, three. everyone. Yep. We'll be back for match <laughs> three. Thanks for watching.